Welcome to this video. My name is Mark Sithian. The date today is July 11, 2024. So in this video, we are going to cover saturated steam enthalpy as a function of thermodynamics. Here we have a steam boiler with certain amount of water delivery uh, flow rate of 0.3 pounds per second water input and a heat source, in this case natural gas combustion, and then of course we have a 80% thermal transfer efficiency, so we lose 20% of the heat that's delivered into the boiler as the natural gas combustion transfers its heat into the boiler, then vaporizing the water to a specified steam temperature of 316.25 degrees Fahrenheit, and then after the steam is incurred, it then is released through a discharge nozzle to the steam turbine inlet. The steam's energy then is converted into the turbine's mechanical energy or the steam power to mechanical power. So we have two questions that are typical in saturated steam enthalpy problems, in this case, relevant to a steam turbine. Number one, what is the brake horsepower output of the steam turbine? And number two, what is the overall efficiency of the steam turbine power plant? So the first step is to realize that steam is not an ideal gas. So this means we cannot use the ideal gas law when working with steam enthalpy. Number two, we need to use steam tables. So whenever you're dealing with saturated steam enthalpy problems, always find steam tables as the data and metrics source. So if we were to multiply the 0.3 pounds per second water delivery times the liquid enthalpy of 286.39 BTU, BTUs per pound of heat required to vaporize one pound of water we could take this to 0.3 pounds per second of water delivery and then factor out the 20% efficiency thermal transfer efficiency loss. So uh, we find the reciprocal of that percentage in decimal form. And so this then equates to 107.4 BTUs per second heat input into the boiler in the form of natural gas combustion. So we'll call that the input heat. Next we can multiply the 0.3 pounds per second water input delivery times the total heat of steam per pound of water. Eleven eighty four point two BTUs per pound. Then multiply the two values times the watts per one BTU per second, so ten fifty six watts per one BTU per second. So the steam power output from the boiler to the steam turbine is equal to 375,155 watts steam power. Next, we would apply that steam power value times 
the industry standard for turbine and even piston, steam piston efficiency, or the conversion of steam power into mechanical power is on average throughout any steam dynamics application 20%. So the steam now has the steam power now has been converted into 75,031 watts mechanical power at the steam turbines output drive or drive shaft. So if we were to divide the 75,031 watts of mechanical power into 746 watts per horsepower, this equates to 101 brake horsepower is the BHP output of the steam turbine. Now when we work with the overall efficiency that is the final output power in this case 75,031 watts or 101 brake horsepower then divided into the input power the input thermal power in the form of burning natural gas combustion so to figure out how much input power in the form of heat from natural gas combustion in order to, in order to figure out that value we can, we can divide the amount of heat required to vaporize 0.3 pounds per second of water into steam at 316.25 degrees Fahrenheit. And that comes to what we calculated here, 107.4 BTUs per second input heat. We can divide that value into the energy density for natural gas, which is 24,800 BTUs per pound. And so 0 0.00433 pounds per second natural gas input is occurring. So just to get an idea of the mass flow rate of natural gas input into the boiler's heat source. So we simply then just to, uh, multiply the 107.4 BTUs per second in the form of burning natural gas combustion. We multiply that value times 1056 watts per one BTU per second. And this translates to 113,414 watts of input thermal power in the form of burning natural gas combustion. So we identify the output power as the 75,031 watts of mechanical power at the turbine and then the input power as 113,414 watts. So dividing the output power into the input power then yields, in this case, the final output power, 75,031 watts mechanical divided into the initial input power of 113.414 watts in the form of burning natural gas combustion then translates to 0.6616 or 66.2% overall efficiency.
Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.